We are tasked with the responsibility of rolling out a minimum of 100,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable and stable internet get connected. We are also expected, ladies and gentlemen, based on that infrastructure in place, to facilitate the digitization of government records on one hand and the digitalization of government services on the other. Our target for June 2023 was 5,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable. I'm happy to report that we have surpassed that target and we have managed, as we speak, to realize a rollout of 5,280 kilometers. At the very beginning of our term, if you can remember, the government did state at the highest echelons by none other than His Excellency, the President himself, that by June this year, end of June this year, we shall have digitalized a minimum of 5,000 services. The rationale for this, ladies and gentlemen, is to ensure that most government services are available on technological platforms. This will facilitate efficiency and effectiveness in service delivery. We have embarked on two major programs, the Ajira program, which has been ongoing, and the Jitume program, which we have newly introduced. We have managed through stakeholder alliances and partnerships, ladies and gentlemen, to secure a donation of 23,000 digital devices for deployment for purposes of digital skilling. And our intention in this regard, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is to utilize these devices to have a critical mass of Kenyans um, acquire <coughs> optimal levels of ICT skills and also empower our youth for jobs. On the side of the broadcasting and telecommunication mandate of the ministry, we have embarked on the process of revitalizing the operations of the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. We are upgrading the infrastructure we have been having a challenge of decaying infrastructure. We have embarked on the process of reviewing the content and re-engineering the business model of the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. By the end of the year, all the government services shall have been digitalized. As we lay the infrastructure, I am very, I'm trying to think of if this infrastructure, the speed we are going to ensure that we have infrastructure is very high we should have a complementing pumping of our young people who are going to uptake this. And uh, my, our age, the 25 years and above people, may not be the right people at this point. I want to request you that, if possible, you talk to KICD. We want to start manufacturing ICT um, funds from high school, from primary school, so that in the next few years, we will be having people who will not be having a challenge. Once you have connectivity, you need devices. You need affordable devices, you need smart devices. We can avail affordable devices that are locally assembled, uh, which will allow us to have uh, easily accessible devices here. We offer devices on a pay-as-you-go basis. So we have what we call Yukam Dogo Dogo. There's a lot of partners who are financiers who are interested in supporting that. We continue to invest ahead of the curve to ensure both our connectivity infrastructure, our fintech infrastructure, our channels that allow our customers or our public to access these services at the right level. The pace at which uh, the transformation is happening is uh, within the mandate set for the ICT, industry, ICT sector is truly remarkable, sir, and hearty congratulations for the first year. Um, from an Airtel, I represent Airtel Kenya and to further promote the vision of the country, uh, that is to uh, promote the digitally empowered Kenyan society, uh, we've been uh, investing heavily within the country. We've almost doubled our network, almost all our sites are 4, 4G uh, and 100% uh, 4G network. Uh, we've also invested in 5G technology in the recent past. We also launched uh, the program of Internet Mashinani across uh, the country. We need to classify telecommunication infrastructure as critical infrastructure. We have a challenge. We have various fiber cuts. We, we are talking about rolling fiber, but we have also a lot of fiber cuts, which we, today almost 
it's every organization we are taking more than almost 30 percent of their expenditure in terms of maintaining infrastructure it's a big problem if we are talking about depending on digital i think there should be a review of digital frequencies downwards particularly the initial frequencies and possibly also for the microwave links because we are going rural we want to go kenyan so there should be incentive in terms of reviewing the frequency costs downwards we did come up with, with a plan on how we can support government to continue as they digitize the cyber threat is, man, is, is contained and managed. Um, and as you may be aware, the cyber threat is really a global challenge, it's not only a local challenge. Um, private and public and governments all over the world are always a target of, of cyber attacks. Since we need to up our response our engagement, our investment in cyber security, but also our skills. So it's in these areas that we will be partnering and continuing to engage with government and collaborate to ensure in all these areas, including really building a strong cyber security framework, um, enabling education and upskilling of, of, of users. We do believe as an industry, we, we have a part to play and we will support the government in this journey. At Kiktanet, we have been championing community internet networks, in networks machinani, where small players are able to anchor and to tap into the bigger ISPs to provide internet at the village level.